they were among the pioneers in the field of nuclear fusion, forcing atoms together to release energy rather than breaking them apart. They gathered on a windy morning to say goodbye to the lab where they did their groundbreaking experiments, the Tritium Systems Test Assembly Facility at Los Alamos National Laboratory. All good things must come to an end. The building, unused for years, is one of 24 scheduled for demolition at Los Alamos's historic Technical Area 21, thanks to funding from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Rewind to 1977. The world had great hopes for a new way to generate electricity through fusion. Forcing atoms together held great promise. The promise is, uh, is lower, well, larger energy supply, smaller reactors. Uh, the, there still is some nuclear waste, but it is less and um, different kinds, easier to handle. Los Alamos scientist Jim Anderson and his colleagues had an idea. It started on paper, gained momentum, and soon became a full-scale lab. Anderson's team formed a historic collaboration with the Japanese government, a collaboration whose work lives on today. It was exciting, it was fun, and the very fact that the technology that we developed then and start, or started developing back in, in the mid-70s, you can trace the technology they're using in fusion right now back to that technology. There's been improvements, there's been advancements, but it can all be traced right back to what started here. The TSTA facility remained the center of the lab's tritium research until 2003 when it closed. Weeks before demolition began, Crews gutted the interior and disconnected electricity, water, and gas. They removed asbestos, mercury switches, and any other hazardous material. On this morning, demolition would begin. A time-lapse video shows that what stood for nearly 30 years takes only days to bring down. Section by section, crews took down walls, loaded rubble into sturdy metal waste bins, and carted it away. One of the pioneers, John Bartlett of Los Alamos, would write a limerick whenever his colleagues retired. He wrote one for today. The limerick for our old friend is called The Last Hurrah. The Last Hurrah. Working shifts through the nights did not blight us. And those tiger team bites could not smite us. The most frightful alarm never ruffled our calm, but this wrecking the place quite excites us. 